Hey guys, Ginger here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are doing another kitten recommends video at the local shelter. So like I said, I am at our local shelter. Kittens are everywhere. We have a kitten right here just purring away. He wants held. So there are kittens everywhere and they are ready to recommend some books and I'm also ready to recommend some books with them. So the plan is we're gonna go through all nine of the kitten room residents here at the shelter, then go around and see some of the other cats that are here. So without further ado, let's get into talking about some books. So the first kitty we have here is Mr. Craig. He is the biggest kitten in the kitten room. And if I could take him home, I would because he is just the sweetest little man. He is just a purbot and he is just such a nice cat. And like I said, wish I could take him with me. He's also the most photogenic, which is cool. But I think a book that I would recommend for Craig would be The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. He just gives me a very main character vibe. All the cats are everywhere of that book, Aiden. And I just feel like he fits that role and he would recommend that if he could. And so The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Evelyn Hardcastle is about a our main character Aiden and he keeps waking up in new bodies every day to try and solve the murder of Evelyn Hardcastle. So it's really cool. It's a nice thriller. I gave it 4.5 stars. So definitely recommend you pick it up. And so does Craig. Next we have Miss Autumn and she is one of three sisters in the kitten room. She is the daintiest of her sisters and she just seems like a classic girl in my opinion. So for her recommendation, we would recommend Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I think that this is just one of the classic romance novels that everyone talks about and is one that really speaks to me with the relationship and the sister group. And again, sister, I just think that it works really well. <laughs> she, um, just looks like a very dainty girl that would recommend that book. And so if you don't know what Pride and Prejudice is about, you should probably, cause it's a classic, um, but it's about our main character, Elizabeth, and pretty much her being a rebel, but also finding love. That, that's how I would put it, so. Next kitten. Our next kitten is Mr. Bobby. And he is the littlest love in here and probably the tiniest kitten. And he just wants all the attention is not right and he's just so sweet and cute he does not stop when it comes to wanting love he has tried to knock over my camera about seven times now so i definitely think for his recommendation recommendation we're going to do a red white and royal blue by casey mcquiston because he is just our perfect combination of alex and henry in my opinion ah, because you're a little love <laughs> And if you guys don't know what that is about, it is about the son of the first lady president of the United States and the one of the princes from the United Kingdom and pretty much them falling for each other in a very angsty adult romance. And it is great. Everyone's starting to calm down. But here we have Wednesday, who is, if you can't tell, Autumn's sister. She is her in a way. She's a very pretty girl. I'm surprised she hasn't gotten home yet. And I'm not really sure what to recommend for her, honestly. I'm, I'm trying to think. What would you like, Wednesday? What would you like to read? For Wednesday's recommendation, I think we are going to recommend The Raven Boys by Maggie Seabotter. She reminds me of a very blue character. And I just feel like she would be one of those who always roughs the houses with the boys. And so that's why I would recommend Raven Boys. The cats keep trying to destroy my camera. So <laughs> cats, they're cute, but oh my goodness. Don't eat my microphone. Anyway, Raven Boys. If you don't know what that is about, it's about our main character, Blue, and she is the daughter to a psychic and she lives in a house full of psychics. And she pretty much at the beginning is told that whoever she ends up kissing will die. And she ends up befriending a group of boys who are known as the Raven Boys because they go to a school that has a raven emblem. And it's just really good. I can't wait to continue with the quartet. And it's just a really good book. So I hope the series is just as good. This is becoming the worst kitten recommends video because these guys just want all the love. Who is next, huh? Who's next? Bobby, you've already had your turn. I guess next we're going to do Zoe. It's a very shy girl. She would do well in a calm household. As you can see, she's a little scared. 
But she's also very friendly, and who doesn't love black cats? I think for her recommendation, I would recommend An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapina. She's just shy, and I feel like despite the fact that she's shy, she would really like a nice cozy thriller novel. And so that is definitely what this book is. If you didn't know what it's about, is about a group of characters who decide to go to this hotel in the wintertime for retreats of their various reasons, and they end up getting snowed in and then someone dies and they have to figure out what is going on. So I would definitely recommend that one for Zoe. I just feel like it fits her and it's definitely a good book. It's one of my favorite Cherry Lupinas. Next we have my boy Peely. When he was a small kitten, he uh, had to get surgery because he broke his growth plate in his hip. He's all better now. And like a, similar to some of the other cats here, I don't understand how he's still here because he's such a sweet cat. Isn't that right? But he is a very adventurous. Um, obviously that's how he broke his hip. He was playing a little too rough. So I think a good adventure book would fit him. So let's see what adventure books I have in my list of books. Despite the fact that Peely is a boy, I think that a book that would really bode well with his personality would be The Wrath of the Dawn by Rene Audier. I think that he just has a personality similar to our main character in that book. Her name is Sharzad. I think they call her Shah, Shar in the book. It's been a minute, but it's one of my favorite duologies. And I just think that he has the spunk similar to her and he would do really well with portraying an adventurous character such as herself. And so that's the book we're gonna recommend for Peely. Who else do we have? This is Peyton. He is Peely's brother. He does not like being held. So we're gonna, we're not gonna make him sit here too much longer, huh? I'm sorry, we'll put you back, but I have the perfect recommendation for him. So for Peyton's recommendation, I am going to recommend Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I just read this thriller and it was really great. It was a great sci-fi with some awesome twists and I gave it five out of five stars. I think that that would just fits his personality. I think that he would be a scientist if he was not a cat. And I think that he, again, just being a black cat would really bode well with a thriller vibe. And so that is my, recommendation for Peyton. Then we have Miss Coraline and she is Autumn and Wednesday's sister. Obviously you can't tell by the name. And obviously I think we can guess what her recommendation is going to be. Um, so I'm gonna recommend Coraline by Neil Gaiman for her obviously because it's her namesake. Like obviously you should read that. And if you didn't know what Coraline is about, it is about a young girl who moves to a new house and she discovers a parallel universe to hers and she gets in a little bit of trouble. And so Coraline is the only middle grade on this list and I definitely really enjoy it. It's one that I have reread a couple of times. It's a fast read and it's by Neil Gaiman who is a wonderful, wonderful author. And so if you're looking for a more adult Neil Gaiman book, if you don't want to read Coraline or you already have, definitely pick up Good Omens because that one is equally as great. Now the last kitten, she doesn't like being picked up so we'll see how this works. So this is Peyton and Peely's sister, Pero. Like I said, she's a little scared, but she's a free spirit and she's a very pretty girl. I'm sorry to bother you. And so for her recommendation, I'm going to recommend The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, which is again, one I just read, but I highly, highly recommend it and love it. I'm gonna let her go now. And it is a winter fantasy, a, an adult fantasy, follows our main character, Vasya, and she, has a sort of magic that allows her to be a free spirit and connect with nature. And it's just a wonderful start to a fantasy trilogy. And I think just given her personality and her coat color and all that stuff, she would definitely recommend that one. So those are all the cats in the kitten room. It's been a fun journey um, dealing with them trying to knock my camera off about 50 bajillion times, <laughs> but I wouldn't trade it for anything. These guys are just sweet little kittens. And I hope you guys enjoyed the recommendations, but for the rest of the video, we are going to go see some of the other cats in the shelter. And so I'm going to thank you guys now for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the videos in December. This one was a little switch from my usual background, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I plan to do lots more cat videos in the new year. So if you are a fan of those, so hit that subscribe button to see them when they come out later in the year. So I will see you guys in the next video. And for now, in the rest of the video, here's more kitties.